Hello, everybody, and welcome to the Grim Grinning Host podcast, our first ever watch party celebrating Disney's The Haunted Mansion from 2003, the seminal classic. Uh, when you're talking about the greatest films of all time, you're talking about Citizen Kane, you're talking about Apocalypse Now, and then obviously you are talking about Eddie Murphy's The Haunted Mansion. We're so excited that you all have joined us to celebrate your Halloween season. It genuinely means a lot to us. But without further ado, I want to go ahead and toss it over to my master of ceremonies this evening, Brad. Brad, buddy, thanks for putting this together for us. Yeah, no problem, dude. Um, you know, we figured we want to do a watch party. We don't really know how. We've never done this before, you know, for Grim Grinning Hosts. <laughs> but, yeah. but I've done a bunch of these on my other podcast youtube so you know at one point we watched through all the jurassic movies so i'm like all right let's let's do this for the haunted mansion for halloween get this thing set up so i know i am watching this on disney plus i think you guys are as well right yes yep awesome i uh, so. i unfortunately do not own my uh 2003 or rather <laughs> 2004 dvd deluxe edition um mm -hmm. for me to pop in but i do have disney plus and that's coming through Awesome. Yeah. So that's how I've got it up. Um, and if anybody else out there is going to watch along, you know, you're going to have to find your copy or go to Disney Plus or iTunes, wherever, buy the movie, I guess. I don't know. Um, <laughs> but we're just going to go ahead. We'll get, we're not going to do it just yet. We'll give you guys some time I, I to heard, catch up. Uh, I heard torrents of Eddie Murphy Haunted Mansion <laughs> went up like 76% today. <laughs> they did. That's what I was thinking as well. Yeah. Um, but yeah, we'll just give you a, a countdown, like a three, two, one play. We're going to be starting at the very beginning of the movie. Um, there is really nothing like, nah, it's just the Disney plus version, which just has like the Walt Disney pictures thing beforehand. And then, then the movie starts. Um, so we're not, we're not ready to go yet. We'll probably just talk about it real quick before we get going, try to get some more people in here. Um, and we do have a, a live chat. So if anybody is watching, we, we do have a few uh, viewers right now. So go ahead, start chatting on the side. Uh, but I don't think, Hunter, did, did we introduce Travis yet? <laughs> well, not yet, because I wanted you to go ahead and introduce what was going on. Oh, OK. Are, All right. Uh, excuse me. <laughs> we, we are proud to announce that our good buddy Travis was able to come celebrate Halloween with us. So welcome back, Travis. Wow, what a uh, amazing episode to come back to, a, a live stream where I can say Look, horrible if, stuff. If, and... if we can't get you on for the Extinct Attractions episode that's been dead <laughs> in the water for four months, then uh, we needed something spicy to pull you in. Yeah, and I'm downloading this on LimeWire, so I don't, I don't know how good <laughs> my, my copy is going to be. But uh, Lincoln Park underscore me. MP4 underscore EXE. Is that's that right. what it is? Yeah. Yeah, it's got like 17 seaters or leechers or whatever the hell they're called. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm reading. So it uh, be I'm, good. Yeah, I'm reading the comments right now. So Annabelle commented in here that uh, they've never actually seen the movie. So um, hopefully it does not let you down. Um, and that's part of the reason I wanted to do this one. I've been pushing it for a little while just because um, it's kind of a running gag on my other show, Disorder. Uh, about how much Andy hates the Haunted Mansion movie. And I was like, you know what? We're going to do this ourselves. <laughs> we're we're going to push it on out, whether or not Disorder does it eventually. I wanted something. and uh, Screw you, Andy. It, we're doing it ourselves. Yeah. Yeah. Come on, Andy. <laughs> it's, it's, uh, it's a cinematic classic, like I said. But I guess more than anything, the mission statement is uh, this movie isn't as bad as its reputation might be. Um, maybe it is. Maybe that's just me. <laughs> we'll see. It's been a while uh, since, since uh, uh, Brad has seen it, since Travis has seen it. So uh, we'll, uh, we'll we'll gauge. I did just watch this one like two, three weeks ago. So it's pretty fresh in my memory. You watch this one like every week, right? Even when it's not <laughs> Every single week. As soon as you put Eddie Murphy fix. As soon as you put Jennifer Tilly in that crystal ball, I'm in. Like, I'm just <laughs> invested. I'm like, this is what all that Texas Hold'em money went to. <laughs> Honestly, like right. I, I don't even remember when the last time I watched this. I I maybe tried to watch it like, as a gag on myself. I'm like, I don't know. I don't like this movie whatsoever. Let me just turn it on. And and I was like, I feel like I was still disappointed. But I've maybe only seen it two or three times at the most. And yeah, I I I can't wait to watch this. And that's why I feel like it's a, it's a fun one for us to do because a typical GGH episode is. 
pretty like heavily edited at times like not every time but sometimes there's it's like sure wow we can't really put a lot of that stuff out there so <laughs> I'm, I'm wondering yeah. how this is going to go and plus with the watch party you there is no stopping there is no turning back time you have to just go with it so that's why yeah. i feel like this should be pretty well, interesting well, yeah i was about to say brad could you say there's no turning back now is that is that what you're saying here i yeah i guess so i no pun intended there but yes <laughs> Well, what uh, what are we looking at uh, for start time? Um, well, looks like we got some people in here. Is any is everybody uh, in the chat? Do you guys have your copies ready? Let us know. We'll get started in a few minutes. I just want to give people some time. Uh, what time is it right now? Ten eleven. Uh, so ten eleven. Let's let's maybe get it going by ten twenty. What do you say? We can chat for yeah. a few more minutes, right? Yeah, that's give you a few great. more minutes. So um, yeah. Hey, if uh, just special points, if any of y'all are watching this on your VHS copy from 2003, <laughs> uh, leave a comment because I desperately want to know. <laughs> Somebody's got one. <laughs> yeah, I know. I know somebody here is like, it's my moment to shine, baby. Like I'm pulling out the VHS copy. Wait, 2003 was, I guess VHS was still kind of popular. Oh, yeah. Wasn't that when VHS everybody was kind of transitioning into DVD? Kind of. It had been a few years, you know, like DVD kind of really came to prevalency in 1998. So uh, <laughs> it's, you know, it's it's kind of at the, the tipping point. Um, I got to say, the first time I knew this was a movie that was coming out, if you bought Curse of the Black Pearl on DVD, which was also the very successful Disney movie from this year, or, well, from not from this year, <laughs> this but the year. year this one came out, uh, 2003, um, you were actually given a free ticket to go see the Haunted Mansion movie. You just, you remember those old certificates you would get in your DVDs? It's like, redeem this and go see a movie for free. Oh, yeah. 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 Yep, that included one for the Haunted Mansion movie, and that is how I saw it. I distinctly remember dragging my grandma to go see this, and uh, she fell asleep about 20 minutes in, I've never forgiven her. Um, we still don't talk to this day. And uh, yeah, it's it's been a long time coming. How old were you then? Like seven or eight? 2003. So I would have been, because this was a November release, I'm pretty sure I was. I had just turned 11. Oh, oh I, I said seven or eight. <laughs> Apparently, I think you're younger than you are. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But uh, yeah, fond memories of this one for that, just because... Curse of the Black Pearl, and you know what? I still stand by it. The Country Bear movie from a year before in 2002. Very underrated movie. So uh, Maybe yeah, that'll there, be the next one. Oh, I can only hope, but Disorders <laughs> definitely got that one on, on copy. So, um, yeah. We got a couple different comments here. So Kay says, uh, that's a no for me on the Haunted Mansion movie. Um, Art Seltzer says, I wish, <laughs> which I think is great. And uh, Octodeer. Uh, says easily some of the best set design and i agree the set design in this movie is beautiful and that's something i kind of want to talk about a little bit tonight yeah um yeah i can't deny that i think there's it, no comparison between pirates like not at all and i think maybe that's why it was such a letdown in a way yeah. right like it had to well, be I, and plus I mean, it's, even it's one of our favorite things talking, yeah yeah, financially. What what do we have like box office figures or anything like that? Yeah, it cost about 90 mil to make and they say the average is you need to at least triple your your budget at least in today's day. So yeah. let's say double back then um to make it back and it only made just over double. It made 182 million on a 90 million budget. Um mm -hmm. so yeah, really didn't recoup much of anything at all. Um but compare that to Pirates of the Caribbean, which the Disney company um, we're quite convinced it was going to be a flop because Pirates movies just notoriously did not perform well. That one cost 140 and it was just the box office smash that year and made over 650 million. Huge intake Jeez. for Disney. And obviously that's why we have the Pirates franchises that we do today. Yeah. And honestly, I feel like depending on who you are, you look at this all, you know, different directions. Like, you know, you may be happy that pirates succeeded and that there's this huge cinematic universe and then it kind of propelled this it springboarded like almost every attraction trying to be made into a movie um it's literally still happening and jungle cruise was what delayed from this summer i believe right um yeah and and I've, i'm hearing rumors that like 
uh, Space Mountain might get made into a movie now. And I'm like, what? How? How does that happen? I mean, there's zero storyline. But... <laughs> <laughs> well, that's the beauty of it, right? You can make your own story. And uh, I heard that it's actually just a cover up. Like it's the Blue Harvest of Mars Needs Moms 2 is the Space Mountain movie. <laughs> <laughs> Anybody remember Mars Needs Moms? Just me? No. I, yeah. What a I, I've... Yeah. You know what? You know what? We, we should have really hyped this up as uh, guys. There, there actually was a Guillermo, Guillermo del Toro version of the haunted mansion and uh we've got it we've got the only yeah. copy so that's what we're gonna watch here tonight <laughs> we've got the concept art we've all seen that ryan gosling video when uh <laughs> yeah you, you know where he's breaking down uh shout out to uh independent clothing maker super yakky stuff for their um give me guillermo del toro's haunted mansion movie you cowards it's a shirt i wear very proudly <laughs> and uh it's great so we've only got a couple more minutes until we start. It's 10, 16, uh, looking at the clock. So uh, get ready. Get it all queued up. I, I just want to say thank you uh, to everybody coming to my channel. I know it's like not really a channel that anybody goes to, but um, yeah, I appreciate it. We're, we're testing something new here. I don't really do live streams on my channel, um, this personal channel. It's mostly just like my family videos and, and uh, stuff like that. But uh, a lot of theme park videos, mostly theme park videos. But uh, thanks, everybody, for, Dude, for stopping by. Some, you've got some good videos on here, man. This is oh. this is the one where you went to like all your Ireland trips and stuff like that, right? Yeah, yeah. Anytime I go on a trip, I uh, put some stuff on here. Um, I, I've been wanting to branch out into movie, like stuff like this, like watch parties for just random movies. Cause I did all the Jurassic ones and I'm like, I can, I know other movies than Jurassic movies. So let me, let me do like back to the future or like something interesting like that. So instead we, we kick it off with the haunted mansion and hopefully I like it. I'm, I'm excited. <laughs> I absolutely hate this. Well, you know, it is one of those, uh, you know, if you want to go see uh, Brad Brad's trip over to Octo, like this is the place to do dude. it. Enjoy. Yeah. That's such a good video, man. Thanks, dude. All yeah. the the Star Wars stuff, you know, yeah. filming yeah. locations on there. And I, I know that's like a that was kind of a pain in the ass to get over there, right? Because it's just a little island out in the middle of <laughs> yeah. Ireland, right? Yeah, that was insane. Like just and it's like to get... a hike to even get up to where I can't imagine <laughs> them filming that. How much? how much bullshit that was getting all that camera gear and all that shit up there. I That'd can't be a imagine. Nightmare. If can't. only they had your Sherpas, Travis. Uh, <laughs> right. <if only. laughs> wait, but wait, where's, where's Kenny? Is he here? Is, oh, he's not, he's not here. No. No. Kenny. Oh, he's out. The, he's out the loop. Kenny now. <laughs> oh, and with the burn. <laughs> Looking good. Yep. All right. So we Getting got down two, to the wires. Get ready. Two, Two more minutes, guys, and and like we said, um, I right now my my copy on Disney, Disney Plus is sitting at the zero 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 mark. So you know, just sync yours up the same way. Like I said, when the time comes, uh, just hit play along with us. Um, I've got my subtitles on, so if you guys want to put your subtitles on, that might be best because if you're listening to us commentate over the movie, it might get a little messy if there's just a lot of audio back and forth. So uh, try to put your subtitles on. Um, but yeah, so you might not know the difference between Eddie Murphy and Brad Joe's Eddie Murphy <laughs> impressions. So you got to <laughs> keep those separate. Like I don't have I, the only impression I've I've ever done of Eddie Murphy is just him saying Shrek. And that's it. <laughs> and it like, was, you uh, know, it, you know, it's like when you whenever you, you try to do an impression, you only end up saying the person's name. Like, you got to do the Michael Scott impression. <laughs> Shrek. Oh my God. <laughs> that's exactly pretty much it yeah, yeah. <laughs> maybe that's why yeah <laughs> this is uh brad joe's chance to recite the entirety of eddie murphy raw we actually tricked you guys <laughs> we hope you're ready <laughs> is it raw or delirious which one was better uh all of the above all of the above yeah that's back that's back in the uh <laughs> the this red, is this the red leather jacket and the, <laughs> the cocaine days. Yeah, well, this stream is just Brad Joe's covering party all the time. Uh, he's gonna get one of them loot machines, and he is ready to go. Dude, that's yeah. a bop. It is. It is. Um, we got. Well, oh, it's ten twenty, guys. So this is the time we said we were gonna get started. Are you guys ready? Do you have your copies ready? Are you gonna hit play along with us? I know there's a bunch of people in the chat. Are you actually watching along with us, or just listening? to some piping hot takes. 
Like, either way, it's fine. <laughs> All right. All right, guys. Let's do it. You guys, Travis, Hunter, you ready? We're ready. All right. It's happening, guys. Let's do this. I'm going to count it down. Three, two, one. We're going to hit play together. Let's do that right now. All right? Three, All right. Two, two, one, play. It's going. See in the castle. Beautiful. I miss that old, beautiful castle logo. You know, it's it's uh it's a sign of a begotten era. It really is. <laughs> beautiful transition right into the mansion. Can't beat it. <laughs> I love that they give you exactly what you want right from the top of the movie. Like, come on, there was no other way to start this movie, right? No, you had to with the floating, floating keys, floating uh, candelabra. Yep. Eddie Murphy. <laughs> Wait a minute, is this Harry Potter? Look at that. I do love the tarot card introduction. I know it's simple, but I think it's a very flashy way to kind of do this this basic like opening title credit scene hmm. yeah getting vibes of like the beauty and the beast uh <laughs> remake <laughs> live action with all the dancing in the background and everything like that opening well, we definitely sequence. want to avoid that oh we're, we're doing that next though right like that's the next movie Obviously, obviously, we're only doing the most beloved Disney uh, live action films. Well, you know, they always said the Haunted Mansion had to walk for the Beauty and the Beast to run. You know? so. <laughs> I think that's always what they've said. I think you're exactly right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I definitely don't remember it starting out like this. Do they no, say where it's supposed to take place? Uh, yeah, it takes in uh, it takes place in New Orleans Square at the Disneyland oh, Resort. Okay. Yep. It was, did you didn't know it was filmed in the park? Uh, right there. <laughs> Eddie Murphy drives his car, his nice like Mercedes or whatever, straight through the gates. They actually filmed this... directly in his house. This is why Eddie Murphy's house. <laughs> this is looks like. like a nice place to um, live. Yeah. Exactly. Um, so a special shout out, it just happened, but, uh, the effects done by Rick Baker, um, Ooh. who obviously carries a lot of weight in the, uh, special effects world, American Werewolf in London, the Grinch, the Nutty Professor, all of his work, Men in Black, uh, very, uh, popular and very famous, po possibly the greatest makeup artist that, that we've had so far. I do love this costume, or excuse me, I do love hard seltzers in here that just says, oof, the costumes, though. <laughs> <laughs> I love that we do get a hanging scene. You know, it's a, it's a little pushing it, but hey, why not? Yeah, Disney movie. Let's open up with a guy hanging. <laughs> I but feel I guess like... that's how the ride started. Yeah, though. parents have been saying that for a long time. So it is directed by Rob Minkoff, who uh, did uh, co-direct The Lion King. He did do Stuart Little, Stuart Little 2, uh, Mr. Peabody and Sherman. So this uh, effectively killed his career. Sorry, Rob. <laughs> <laughs> Produced by Don Hahn, who did a lot of Disney Renaissance feature, or, excuse me, features. Oh. This jump scare killed 11-year-old Hunter. Hunter did not trust <laughs> Gates um for another 16 years so if you're doing the math that's where i am right now oh there he is there's the man of the hour <laughs> <laughs> big ass smile it's love isn't it Like, whoever was writing this script, I can't believe they're like, I really need to put this part in there about plugs. Like, how many plugs are in the houses? <laughs> or when we get older, it's, we can trip. They get the, would you like a divorce line out? Like, that's the only reason they wrote this this section. Yeah. <laughs> 
for Evers and, and wow Evers. oh i remember that part <laughs> so fun fact that was actually adopted by the disney vacation club for a handful of weeks and then promptly <laughs> dropped because uh they realized this movie was going nowhere <laughs> Oh, the uh, the age old trick there. I, I gotta take this. I know it's such a I know it's such a tired cliche, but I love looking at cell phones from this era and just looking at what we have in our pockets now. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is the tiki tiki room right here, or the uh, Sam, Trader, Trader, Trader Sam's? Sam's? Yeah, this is Trader Sam's. Obviously, one hundred percent. It's probably. I wonder where they filmed this. You think so they filmed fact, it out? This is also Eddie Murphy's house. It's just another location. <laughs> um, he really did not want to travel much, uh, so yes, yeah, they just shot it right in his home. I mean, we got to ask back. like Brandon Clyla to see where this was filmed i'm sure he, he has an idea eddie murphy actually invented trader sam's if it oh. eddie murphy there would be no trader sam's that makes even more sense if you guys weren't aware you're not going to get any facts here tonight what are you talking about i'm telling them this is eddie murphy's home <laughs> We all have those friends, and that's what makes it so. <laughs> that's what they were thinking when they wrote this in the script. Sorry about that. <laughs> oh, this is how it works. Yeah, they're ready to buy. Do you not see that he is in He's leopard so print and a uh, uh, suit covering? <laughs> He's not here to. <laughs> Uh, Kate in the comments says this is exactly what she signed up for. So uh, suck on that, Brad. <laughs> sing it, dude. Sing it. You know you want to. Party all the time. Party all the time. <laughs> I meant the happy anniversary song, but. <laughs> I was waiting on the Travis laugh at that one. <laughs> He's like, that's good. That's good. And then he pulled the pin from behind his ear and jotted it down just in case. <laughs> yep. Damn, Jim, you're missing everything. The lake, huh? Yeah. Well, fun fact, the sequel to this movie, if it was successful, was going to be about the lake. Um, the and, lake. Yeah, it was just called The Lake. It was a Friday the 13th sequel. And um, <laughs> poor Megan and Michael didn't quite make it. it. it I, I wrote this scene, by the way, guys. This is uh, from a real life you know, thing that happened to me. <laughs> <laughs> well, it is a big spider, to be fair, Brad. I, uh, yeah. I'm glad the missus is there to protect you, though. I feel it, though. I feel it. I, I hate spiders with a passion. Yep. They scare me so much. How many kids do you think uh, watching this movie understood? Look at that. Look at that haunted mansion in the back. See it right there? Oh, I missed it. Yeah. Like I was too busy looking at the. Uh, I was looking at the Houdini poster. I I I heard or I read actually that they. Uh, the producers and director actually went to Six Flags of Great Adventure and wrote Houdini thinking that's the movie they were making. That's why it's, you know, very different <laughs> from time to time. Very different. Is that the one that's like a, it looks like a bed? <laughs> what? Wait, what? The bed coaster? Way yeah. Oh, no. Way no, no. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's like an indoor that, kind of. Like a uh, you like sit in like a row, like a bench, and it just kind of swings back and forth, but the room rotates. Mm 
I feel like this is an important lesson that is going to come to fruition somehow later in the movie. Mm -hmm. I can't whack a spider. <laughs> out of context. <laughs> out of context, that sounds oh. kind of weird. I don't want to whack it. <laughs> I can't whack it, man. <laughs> Expect nothing more from you guys. Um... <laughs> I love that poor CG spider that uh, oh, got gross. completely wrecked. Poor guy. Uh, fun fact, um, if Travis does not start drinking before he records, um, this is what he sounds like. <laughs> it's actually my voice. Tomorrow evening. <laughs> I like how both people in this family are like really disappointed, really disappointed whenever they get new jobs coming in. They're like, hey. come on. Really? Dude, he missed three weddings, uh, two two school plays, and a barbecue. You got to understand it. Somewhere. You got to. I feel like this whole movie is about putting your family first. And like, that's the message they're going to get to by the end. But I'm not sure. Yeah. We'll see. Maybe they're, we'll they're see. not really they're not really giving me much to go off here. I'm just using <laughs> a little bit of um, reading here, re reading between the lines. He's got to take take some jobs to afford that BMW right there. That's like a seven. To afford that cell phone, like ninety. <laughs> that BMW was like ninety grand back in the day. You think he got unlimited texts on that phone? Hell no. <laughs> I'm about to go over my minutes. I got to go. <laughs> Can you call me back after nine? <laughs> Bitch, I'm roaming. I'm out, <laughs> out in the middle of the woods. Do you not see me? I am clearly in Savannah, Georgia right now. Yeah. I'm still in America. <laughs> oh my God. I honestly forgot that Terrence Stapp was in this, or Stamp was in this, and I am so happy. Agreed. You should be very happy because Terrence is a. Uh, national treasure, wherever he's nationally from, but he is great in this. He's uh, he's a perfect butler. I'm actually looking through the IMDb, and I totally forgot that Scott Stapp was in this movie too. That's yeah, really. <laughs> <Comes out>. Yeah, <laughs> it's uh, it's incredible. <laughs> I you're it, you know it was a it was a busy time for them. You know they had that song in Halloween Resurrection a few years before, and uh, people were still feeling it. <laughs> The that? fact well, that it's, it's it's been, like, didn't they have a song know. in Scream or something as well? Oh, I'd have to look it up. I'm not too sure. <laughs> or was that the one that was in Halloween? I'm yeah, pretty sure it was in Resurrection. All. Yeah. Sorry, guys. Kenny is the uh, the Creed aficionado here, so <laughs> that's right. I will say I dig I dig the music in this a little bit, just because like it does play enough of the the classic Haunted Mansion mu music to with arms wide open, the spirit. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah i think that's what we're all looking for though you know the the moment we go to see this movie in the theaters we're just strictly looking for like how does this tie into everything oh there's Dude, that I little miss, theme there's this there's that i miss people i miss people saying go on give me a boost Remember over over a fence? ask your friends yeah. well give you can boost. the best part is you can tell that fence is like clearly like 12 to 15 feet high <laughs> yeah and it's like good luck lift me up i'll Got break daggers. it and then we'll sell and then we'll buy their house they're gonna love that asking his wife to give him a boost when he really weighs a lot more than she does <laughs> good old days of climbing fences that's right <laughs> remember you would interlock your your fingers and <laughs> you that would be the that? boost Go on and boost. You know, those hands could lift some weight right there. All I got to do is interlock them. So uh, a real fact about this is something that they wanted to do for the visual effects of the house. They did want to combine kind of the various haunted mansions together to make something that people were happy with. So you got a little bit of the, the gothic look um, from like New York and that kind of area in the mansion, kind of like Liberty Square. You got the columns from the New Orleans uh, New Orleans Square version over in Disneyland. So it's kind of yeah. this fun amalgamation of the various mansions. 
which the Disneyland one makes sense with being in Louisiana because it's kind of that uh, yeah southern style well, wrap around porch and all that. That's always been my hot take is that I prefer our mansion. I think we do have the our mansion like I own it. I prefer the Walt Disney World's mansion. I just yeah. really think it is the best one. New yeah. Orleans is is beautiful, but I just I think we for the regular haunted mansion, not the overlay or anything. I, I really think Walt Disney World has the best mansion. If I, I mean, I guess it fits a little bit better in the area that it is in Disneyland, but yeah, that's kind of semantics here, you know. Disney is kind. Of, Disney World is kind of a mishmash of things. Where I think Disneyland kind of has little lands that fit together better, but yeah, that's neither here nor there. Something I'm always reminded of when I'm talking about Liberty Square's Haunted Mansion is for years on the Magic Kingdom Railroad, there was a line of dialogue that they just never cre- uh, corrected. And it basically said, come to Liberty Square where you can visit the inspiring Haunted Mansion and the terrifying Hall of Presidents. And I really think that uh, still holds true today. <laughs> mm, definitely, definitely. Here's the best line in the movie. <laughs> <He's not. laughs> i love it i love that there's a gif available of it it's beautiful <laughs> this is where everybody uh-huh. usually starts reciting the dialogue in the movie it's really everybody knows the dialogue in the movie a lot <laughs> You know, <laughs> I, well, okay. is that I anybody home? And everybody goes, Hello, is anybody home? And Hello, just, yeah. we're the <laughs> Evers and Evers real estate. You know, you remember? I, I yeah. Yeah, yeah, it yeah. was, it was actually obnoxious in theaters. I believe it. Yeah, I just, you know, the fact that, you know, when this movie came out when it did means that we couldn't really complain online much about it. But uh, if you look above kind of like the staircase here, you can see those classic like Haunted Mansion portraits or at least a, a few of them, which I think is great. Yeah. And once again, I think the set design really is something special in here. It's uh, it's pretty oh, cool. Yeah. This place has spiders. That's Brad. I'm, I'm going to fuck out. <laughs> <laughs> yes, that's also Brad. That music Look at right that. there. You hear that Haunted Mansion music? Oh, oh yeah. Oh, man. It's Welcome. good. Evers and Evers. <laughs> Doesn't he kind of look like one of them kitties that have like the smushed in faces? Like, isn't that what he reminds y'all of? What? What? You know those cats that got like the smooshy faces? That's totally what he looks like. <laughs> oh, like a grumpy cat or something like that? <laughs> kind of like a grumpy cat, I think. I don't know. I don't remember. The music is still going. You can tell. Yeah. Well, you can really tell that Terrence is giving it his all. Like, he's he's like, I know this is a bunch of hack. I need to afford my next car or home. Dude, he'll, um, he'll be, he'll be in this. any movie. Yeah. Yeah. Look at that. Y'all remember those? Waterproof calendars? <laughs> Key change in the music. Yeah. My man is the scariest troll doll you've ever seen. <laughs> it's a little presumptuous thinking that there's going to be soup. Yeah. <laughs> At a place like this, you know they got soup. And what if they come True. out with like <laughs> the windy, like chili, like instead, and they're like, surprise, it's a sponsored house. You know, Walt Disney loved their sponsored attractions. So the Haunted Mansion movie as presented by Wendy's could have been a thing at one point. I just want like Marty McFly's mom to come out with the Uncle Joe Blurred Joey cake and just slap it on the (laughs) table. Like I'll critique this movie a lot and just not actually know what I want from a Haunted Mansion movie at the same time. That's, you know, that's the hard part, you know, because like we have such a nostalgia for the song and story of the Haunted Mansion. But even that's like 
really corny right like it's it's super 60s and corny so we like let it go i do love that he's got this massive like gothic fireplace and he's like we can do a weenie roast because that would be me (laughs) cooking s'mores his grandfather was uh, john hammond yeah exactly (laughs) jet skis look at how that word shot skis crazy let's get that handshake (laughs) That's me when anybody tries to handshake me right now (laughs) in today's climate. I think this is one of the first times that the officially made like the owner of the house, the Gracies. Like I was wondering that too. What's that? I was just wondering that same thing, and I didn't want to sound like an idiot because I don't, I don't really know the history of the Gracies, so I, I, I've been wondering that myself actually. Yeah, I think it is one of the first times it was like officially acknowledged because, you know, it's kind of always been, you know, at least the fan canon or whatever. But like even the Hitchhiking Ghosts, like those were like coined names that Disney just ended up adopting. So like I will say they did Gracie wrong over if you go to Walt Disney World and visit his tombstone. They uh, snapped the man in half to get him in his little plot of land. You think with this big of a house, they could afford to give him more space. But no, he gets (laughs) gets like a two by two section. Uh. So, so I'm, I may sound stupid saying this, but does anybody actually know who the ghost host is? Like the actual voice for the Haunted Mansion ride? Like, obviously, he's not portrayed in this, right? No, I think the assumption is that the ghost host. Well, I mean, you're is not it Master actor, Gracie, right? Like, you know, no, that's Paul no, I mean, yeah. So, like, it's yeah, it's yeah. been presumed to be Master Gracie. Yeah, like, that's the one who hangs yeah. himself, and he's also the one that's in the portrait that transforms into the skeleton but that's all just that's all just assumption like no one actually knows who the character of the ghost host is supposed to uh, to signify or represent right we have the uh, it looks like the wallpaper was in the background there for a quick shot you get a little bit of that in here it's uh i feel like this is a movie that we kind of let slide on easter eggs i just don't think it's i don't think it's as miserable like this kind of takes me back to the era of like 2000 like comic book adaptations where it's like you're lucky to just have anything slightly resembling what it's based on you know what i'm talking about yeah Yeah. honestly like even pirates is it's it's obviously amazing movie but like i don't feel like there's a ton of easter eggs and references and the music doesn't hit those notes really you know it doesn't do a lot of the stuff that you'd expect of that movie today you know yeah so like they fit the dog in there. They fit the yeah. There's a few things movie, like that sort of thing. I but think, it's not uh, as deep Tortuga, as you'd expect. Yeah, I think Tortuga was cut from that movie, or either that or it was Dead Man's Chest, where it's it hit I the think, cutting room floor. Yeah, there's a few moments in sequels that kind of resemble that, and I don't, I don't almost know specifically if it's Tortuga or not, but yeah. So who is this one guy supposed to be? Is he supposed to be like Master Gracie's punk ass grandson or something? <laughs> The one that was at the table. It's his real homie. Opera. What? What? No, he's uh, he's he's well, he he is Master Gracie. He's just presenting himself as as the grandson. Uh, spoilers. Uh, they said as much. Come on, man. You Did saw they, him I... hung in the first scene. That's true. <laughs> <laughs> Same guy. They don't look, the chromosomes don't work that way. That's true. Gen- <laughs> <laughs> Genetics in general. But is Matt? I, I guess I do Gracie love this. Is, I think I it's Master Gracie funny. is supposed to be young, but he doesn't sound young. So I guess he was probably portrayed as being pretty young, right? In the, or at least back in the day when he was more in it. Is it not the? Was Master Gracie supposed to be married to uh, Constance or whatever her name was? See, that's the part where the Haunted Mansion lore gets so messy. I think basically what I've accepted is the Haunted Mansion is a combination of dozens of different figures throughout it. Um, So I think Constance was... My guess is that Gracie was the original owner. Constance's fifth husband or her last husband ended up buying the property and then that opened a next generation of like those types of ghosts. But yeah, it's supposed to be like, I mean, Walt Disney always said it was a retirement home for ghosts. Like it was somewhere for them to go. So it's just a combination of a ton of different stories put together. 
Yeah, that's always right. what I've assumed because, you know, they're just looking to collect more and more people, you know? I guess yeah. they just, yeah, they just put him in that story because they wanted him to kind of explain the story. So I guess it's it kind of gets a little convoluted what is actually going on in the house. You know? I think we're also just in today's day and age with themed attractions, like we expect a story, right? Like even outside the attraction, we want to be in the land. We want to go to a specific like shopping or eating like back in the day, like that's something we didn't put as much value in, especially for original attractions. I don't need to know the whole backstory of why the pirates are ransacking the town or why this ghost is in the house. It's just like, Oh, that's a fun ghost. Yeah. And I think yeah. some stories and rides, when you start trying to explain them a little more, it could either make them way better or way worse. Yeah. So, yeah. yeah. Agreed. I think yeah. you can't over explain things. And I think, if someone wants to delve into the history with something like the Haunted Mansion, great. But I think the fact that it works without knowing that story is part of the reason it's it stood the test of time. It's also that weird thing, too, where a lot of the Disney rides are so many different voices and minds. So it's kind of hard to tell. I mean, I guess they do have a, a culmination, but I think there's also different Imagineers or whatever would say that they this lore or that lore with, you know what I mean? It, it, I guess it would change a little bit between if you ask them what the actual story and all the ride actually meant, you know? Mm -hmm. Damn, Jambalaya sounds great right now. <laughs> I guess a nice allusion to rides right there, right? Yeah, yeah. They're like telling everybody, hey guys, just only, literally only go on our rides one time and then go somewhere else. <laughs> Please. <laughs> we can't afford to have too many of you congregated <laughs> together. <laughs> so this is a direct allusion to that scene from Harry Potter with uh, Daniel Radcliffe staring out of Hogwarts window, petting Heck or uh, Hedwig. <laughs> Not petting Heck, but that's a very different oh, movie. God, that just got real, yeah, that real different there for a second. <laughs> uh, care of magical creatures, am I right? <laughs> Look at that. My yeah. man Ooh, just... My name is Stogie. My man straight up jacks that cigar. He's like, they ain't gonna need that. They ain't gonna know <laughs> This is a Cuban. It might be stale because everything's dusty around this bitch. That bust is gonna watch him the whole time, though. I want you to smoke the motherfucker in there. I heard that the bus watching you is a side effect of smoking the stogies in Master Gracie's <laughs> office. <laughs> oh, doing his British accent. Oh. <laughs> oh, the secret passage. Look at that. Who would have known? You got H.E. Chin Bear hanging out in the background. Secret secret passages really need to figure their shit out. Too many people are bumping into the Switch. Always. Seriously. Right. I do love this very human reaction to deserving a secret passage way. <laughs> because I'm not sure I would be able to resist doing the exact same thing. <laughs> Who put a bus of Brian Posehn on, on the <laughs> Out of all people you can get a bust made of, <laughs> you want him. <laughs> Push back the head. <laughs> It's <laughs> uh, great. <laughs> Script writers like I don't. I really don't know what to do here, guys. <laughs> Just brush <He's> like yeah, <laughs> we we got a while till we get to the graveyard. It's fine. <laughs> Honestly, I thought that was Hedwig's theme for a second. <laughs> it is pretty similar. Um, 
Oh, she dropped her Nokia 5150 on the ground. She was, she was I'm surprised she didn't break through the next three floors on the way down. <laughs> <laughs> In the truck of the phone. Um, so yes, uh, welcome to the Adventures of Ghost Ball, um, which was a, a popular genre at the time, uh, following the fluorescent... Uh, ball it's also what would guide you around in video games back in 2003 which i'm pretty sure is where they got the exact same idea hey hey Hey, it's like telling you folly the entire time there was another movie that i watched that was that like had this and i thought it was super weird i don't remember what it is though was that like a popular thing in movies during this era yeah i'm pretty sure the ghost ball in this movie was played by uh patrick swayze (laughs) <laughs> i just imagine that kid responding to your joke just like he knew what he was doing he pocketed <laughs> where's the scary albino um, that's also how we catch kenny when he's when he's ready to record <laughs> even though kenny is more of a bright red he's he almost looks like a uh like a stack of big red gum um, but we do call him the albino. He's not Fat Thor anymore. Didn't he cut all his hair off? Uh, I don't know. What, yeah. what should we call him? Like Nigel Thornberry? <laughs> Nigel Thornberry. That was pretty specific. <laughs> Does he look like Nigel Thornberry? How'd you get there so that? fast? Like <laughs> <laughs> Nothing like a good old ghost maid, which was another popular genre of film at the time. Oh, big jump scare. <laughs> Everywhere. Uh, 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 uh. <laughs> Indeed. <laughs> it's when you're stoned going to Taco Bell at three in the morning. Can I get a... Uh, uh, Contra <laughs> Supreme. <laughs> oh, uh. Sir, this is the Wendy's. <laughs> This is like Hagrid's or uh, Dumbledore's office, doesn't it? <laughs> a little <laughs> bit. All yeah. the Harry Potter sets. Well, look, if you got some that works. He's a very dapper gentleman, isn't he? He is. This, this theme that they're playing here... It, it slightly resembles a Swan Lake, and yeah, uh, yeah, it does. The other day, I was listening to Swan Lake, and I was, I was like, kind of realizing how much, like, of the Hedwig's theme I, I noticed in that song, and I, I don't know why. I don't know if that was like an inspiration from John. I know John, and I know John personally, guys. That's why I call him John. But uh, I know John Williams really, you know, pulls yeah, Johnny, from classical Johnny, stuff. Johnny Dubs. Yeah. <laughs> so now I'm talking about completely different movies here. But anyway, that sounded a bit like Swan Lake. So. I get it. I get it. And that also, it kind of goes back to John Williams taking inspiration in a bunch of different places. Like a lot of people don't know that the Jaws theme is actually based on drowning pools bodies. Um, (laughs) I'm not sure how many of y'all knew that, but yeah, that's, that's 100% factual. Wait, wait, did he, did he go back to the future or something? Uh, No, 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 no. He, he, uh, John Williams is, uh, it's an old, old song figure that transcends time. (laughs) Uh oh, flashback time. Uh-oh. Well, never mind. Wait, wait. <laughs> Ghost ball time, you mean? <laughs> back to that ball again. Welcome back, Patrick. Why does he have a backpack on, though? I'm so. Com- is. And she's got a purse. Like, you gotta be prepared, Brad. He's like, I'm getting the fuck out of here. This He's like, I might bag. see some spiders. I don't know. You ain't never heard of a bug out bag? <laughs> He's like, bitch, I ain't getting that much. That's me about to get on the uh, the Tower of Terror for the first time. <laughs> yeah. I hear Steve Gutenberg was you in the scene, fast. but they ended up cutting him out. <laughs> to... <laughs> this is where you get the Haunted Mansion Tower of Terror mashup. Yeah. And then the whole thing just drops. <laughs> There's Lynn manuel Miranda. <laughs> oh, way, oh, way. <laughs> This was Dude, his this first Disney like appearance. <laughs> I think I think it's just because Harry Potter takes so much from like 
gothic architecture and stuff. Yeah, <laughs> look at that. Think, look at this. It's because Harry Potter took it from the haunted uh, the hallway. Yep. I honestly looked away and I knew exactly what it was. Look at that! Look at that classicness. We ever thought about playing Harry Potter bit of a side by side with Haunted Mansion, and maybe really the same should movie have next to each other. Is this your? I, I also did. heard if you uh, listen to Dark Side of the Moon by Flink Floyd, queued up perfectly, it, it ties into this movie as well. Ooh, look like at that! There's that wallpaper. Yeah, that's a badass hallway right there. I want that, that in my house? That beautiful 2003 CG door. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and yes, they are termites. Set design <laughs> and everything can only save the movie so much. Oh my god, like... they used to cuss in Disney movies back in the day. Look, this was rated PG. He said ass. Look, look at this. You know the editor was so proud of this transition. He's like, wait, 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 guys. They're, he's going to open wait. a door. You're not going to believe what's on the other side of that door. <laughs> <laughs> This was actually reshoots. They they had to go back and reshoot the door opening. Look at that. Boom, baby. Yeah. This would queue up perfectly to some post-hardcore music. This is my favorite scene in the ride (laughs) is the ringing phone. Yes. (laughs) The ringing phone part. Yeah, yeah, I love it. I always have to check my pockets because that's my ringtone. It's so weird. I will say this is a crazy scene. So uh, brace yourselves. Hang on to your butts. You're not ready for the ringing phone. <laughs> that's uh peppa pigs can you whistle of the haunted mansion movie can somebody, can somebody put the old thug line thing when he hangs up there's a raven look at that another oh raven. oh shit that actually scared me a little bit. <laughs> but it looked little. it looked way worse than the Pirates version of that same effect. <laughs> yeah, it did. It did. It's like Pirates weird. got all the money. Yeah. Ooh. I, I like the to think that's now. a callback to Poltergeist, personally. It's oh, so funny how the much they're off. sticking with this theme that they're using instead of a, a Haunted Mansion theme. It's a love theme. You know, they were really hoping it would uh, break through. You guys remember the old uh, Jim Hill articles where if this movie was a success, they were going to add Eddie Murphy to the Haunted Mansion. Jennifer Tilly was going to be Madame Leota and all that. <laughs> Jim and Hills. this is Rex. His mm-hmm. name's Rex. One of the best voices to ever exist. Oh, yeah. So Anybody want to go? I... I... I guess I forget mostly, but this is just the mummy, right? Like this is just a Brendan Fraser, the mummy. Uh, they basically saw the success of that and put the haunted mansion over it and called it a day. Yeah. Yeah. There's so many movies wrapped in one. <laughs> I want to shout out this comment from Kay. Uh, they spent the budget on Terrence Stamp, not on the effects. I'm assuming <laughs> related to the the face scene just a moment ago. <laughs> I do believe we're about to see him uh, grab a cookie. So yeah, that's probably where the budget went. Could you imagine if it was like a placement? <laughs> He's like, <laughs> nothing tastes as good as a Girl Scout Samoa. <laughs> I was gonna say famous Amos, and then he comes out. The ghost of famous Amos. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> He's like, you're darn right with the taste of famous Amos cookies. <laughs> you too will have that afterlife flavor. So good, it must be from heaven. This movie has a 14% on Rotten Tomatoes, by the way. <laughs> 14. <laughs> What's the audience score? Uh, Surprisingly, uh, 100%. Look at that. Boom. 30. <laughs> <laughs> it's actually 101%. Leota talking. Indistinctly. Metacritic gives it a 34. Hey, look, we're getting somewhere. IMDb is 5 out of 10, so it's like half. 
I'll agree with that. I'd give it a five out of ten. There we go. She's she literally never stops. Wait. So that Terrence Stamp is still alive? Yeah. He, uh, he was only like 60-something when this movie came out. So fun fact, that chair was made by Dominic Toretto. Just wanted to throw that out there. <laughs> that chair has F is for family uh, carved into the bottom of it. He just said, I need a boost, and it just came flying down the hallway. <laughs> You know, the scriptwriter was like, the kids are going to love this. Like, just wait. <laughs> I, I love this world that, like, Disneyland or Disney World, I guess, doesn't exist. Like, does it exist? Or, like, is the ride not there? Like, what what is this world, you know? Oh, like, do you think, like, the Haunted Mansion actually exists in the Haunted Mansion movie world? Is that what you're saying? No, I, I don't think it does. I'm just saying, like, is is just, is just this a world where Disneyland or Disney World does not exist whatsoever? Or do they exist and this ride is just not there? Like, they never made it. Huh. Hmm. I don't know, but I heard there was concept art for this one. It's Madame, Madame Leota's carousel and her flying shit. <laughs> oh, I just saw John. In the back, there he is. Yeah, boom. His, his his hand was flying off or whatever. Once again, I do appreciate the sheer amount of fan service this movie tosses at us because sure, it is all, all the musical instruments floating around, and yeah, that was great. It's a lot of CGI. How else would they do it? Uh, Hidden I, Mickey. No, the I'm saying there's a lot of budget on CGI in this movie. <laughs> But, like, what is this part of the house? Is this the back of their th personal theater? Like, what is it? I right. think this is the cast members only section. <laughs> that hallway that he just walked through looked pretty shitty. It was, like, yeah. very nondescript. There was, like, a one door. This is, like, their staff quarters or whatever, I guess. Yeah, yeah, I think so. I'm honestly now afraid to walk through the rest of my basement because of all my musical instruments. <laughs> I'm glad they did find each other. That's great. Look at that. Boom. You're not ready. <laughs> it was... He accepts it so quickly. Yeah. <laughs> green, gypsy. green gypsy. Right here. How much of this do you think is actually written and how much of it was just Eddie like improvising on set? God, I don't know. Yeah. Man, I was hoping for the scene where he goes, hmm, that kind of looks like her, doesn't it? <laughs> Mom? Mom? Mom, is that you? Master Grace is trying to get it in. <laughs> I mean, look at him. <laughs> I do like that his robe is the uh, black wallpaper from the mansion, or at least it's pretty darn close. Hmm. I want that fucking robe. Travis, you can never rock those sideburns. <laughs> I, I mean, I kind of already rock them. It just goes into a beard instead of getting cut. <laughs> <laughs> I love the random subliminal imagery of the dead corpse. And then they just immediately cut back. Yeah. <laughs> I 
Anaxinamun. Well, if it's broken, how's it beaten? <laughs> Wait, his broken heart? I thought... <laughs> He wants to get jiggy with his wife, Travis. Wait, <laughs> but back. It, Wait, back this in is the not for sale. From the ride, it wasn't. It wasn't his beating heart. Man. It Are you was telling me the house that belongs to Famous Amos is not on the market right now? <laughs> it is true. Wait, wait, wait. So did she show them like a flashback or did they just show that entire conversation with that dude yeah. trying to pick up his wife? Because, I think it was like, the entire does thing. have like no tact whatsoever? <laughs> Nobody She's knows. like, you're trapped in here with me. Enjoy this footage. Leota has spy I'm cameras already. all around the house. <laughs> I'm going to tell you a bunch of and shit. Then, and, then, and then fucking Joey Greco walks out from behind one of these curtains and he's like, excuse me. <laughs> U.S. Amateur says Jiggly, LOL. Correction. It's so weird. There's, Jiggy. I appreciate there's no, that. <laughs> there's no windows or no doors. How do we get out of here? There's always his way. Really? We That's the line of the world. There's always my way. And here is... Uh, is that fucking Elton John? I'm just, I'm, I remember I'm, when Rockwell actually, <laughs> actually switched to Elton John as I <laughs> I despise the alternate timeline where he took over as the ghost host of the Haunted Mansion. Who Elton John? <laughs> Elton John or Famous Amos? There's a lot going on here. <laughs> no, Rex. Oh, okay. Great. Whatever, whatever his name. Is. Also, why, why is he not looking for his wife while Master Gracie's trying to get it in? They're trying to figure that out. They got to break the curse. They need to the kill key. him. Yeah. What are they Look doing outside? Fan service. Oh, this is like the. It's like the it's fan room. service, but yeah, in the worst the possible way. Like everybody only important. wants this to take place in the ballroom like why would it not be in the ballroom well, I, guess it's, I guess it's like a great the graveyard scene but what, what happened i mean the, but it's it's all the ballroom, the ballroom stuff but just not it's all outside like it doesn't make any sense they're trying to do fan service this is but the graveyard disappointing Where, what, what are you guys there's the outside oh. graveyard scene but well th that was that doesn't but happen. the stuff before that was all the um ballroom scene how yeah, depressing is that each other. That when you die, your soul becomes a moth, and if you can't find the light, like you're just trapped forever. <laughs> I like they're just waving it. Nice job. Yeah, that's great. Oh, oh there we go. I can ghosts. I feel like they nail two is, out of the three. Is this guy just a hatbox ghost? <laughs> the guy driving the uh, cart. Oh, maybe. Maybe it's a fun little reference. <laughs> Is that what he sounds like? <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> okay. Okay. That, that was a genuine laugh. I enjoyed that. That's fine. This is where like he does like some spooky shit and turns her into like his bride somehow. No, I don't think so. I think I, first of all, I think she's all about it. Bodies. That's what I say when I pour my last bowl of Count Chocula for the season. I love how you said it's what it happens when I do my last ball account driving. And she said, Isn't that romantic? <laughs> <laughs> Don't say crap. There we go. The busts. Mm hmm. 
Make sure to stay tuned to uh, Brad and I's musical project, uh, Men Singing Indistinctly. You'll notice we're missing a bust. That one on the right looks oddly like Walt Disney. Yeah, well, that one's Thurl Ravenscroft. I feel like it looks different in this movie, though. He looks a bit different. He's he's kind of cleaned up, but yeah, that's that's him. <laughs> this is also Travis's brain when it reaches about two thirty in the morning and he's still awake. Pretty much. <laughs> I like how it's just normal to be talking the singing. Yeah, bus. I know. <laughs> Where's the key? Come on, guys. <laughs> that's how uh, there it is. <laughs> that there, there it is. is. <laughs> That's the place to be. That's what I want my uh, front yard to look like on Halloween. There's that <laughs> raven again. Oh. Yo ho, yo ho. She just so happened to study Latin for three years. She's seven three years, years old. Honey, aren't you like nine years old? Yeah. <laughs> Started early. It's that uh, rich real estate money that allows you to learn <laughs> Latin. I guess so. Isn't Latin like super hard? To, to, like old school Latin? It's like hard a dead language, a right? I don't know. I don't like Latin. All I know is that Megan is more uh, distinguished than any of us at 12 yeah, years for old. Sure. That's for sure. That's for sure. If there's like kids in movies, they're always the saviors of the situation. They always end up knowing the perfect specific thing to get them out of oh, whatever the jam is. Yeah. I also think kids are smarter than we give them credit for. Yep, it's gonna steal this lamp right here. This is a uh, national treasure. Now they're referencing national treasure. <laughs> or raid the lost ark. <laughs> Wait, that didn't even come out or yet maybe. at this point. <laughs> Yeah, I was about to say maybe uh, maybe the uh, watch net or the haunted mansion. They're like, we can do that better. Yeah, yeah. It legit like looks exactly like the national treasure scene. Uh... This is a comment that I uh, was in here. It just says, "Imagine a ghost straight up hitting on your wife while you're being haunted." <laughs> 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 there's something very aesthetically pleasing about any time they're in like a dark temple lit by flames like the movie can be awful but i'll still love the way that the whole scene looks you know yeah ah yes the creepy black tomb in the center of the room over a bridge which is also how Brad, uh, excuse me, which is also how Brad designed his uh, Animal Crossing town this month. So yeah, oh for sure, yeah. it's not it's Spooky not Black changing. Stone over a bridge. <laughs> wow. <laughs> okay, she's thirteen. All right. So she learned Latin when she was ten. 
And inside is the Grail tablet. <laughs> My man didn't even try to, uh, you know, respect that that tomb. Just push <laughs> the whole all. thing over. <laughs> like, they can deal with it. Well, he said, excuse me. I mean. He was also sorry to bother them. Yeah. <laughs> this is uh, the tomb of famous Amos. I love the ADR that they had had to have him come back and do it. Just like, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> just, Eddie, we want you to sound like you're going to throw up. He's like, I got you. I already did uh, two Shrek movies by this point. <laughs> Look at that. Those Rick Baker uh, oh, makeup. Oh, the key. Uh, I know. Go get, the the, go get the key is what he says to his daughter. Now, that is pretty <laughs> terrifying. Yeah, yeah. These... Uh, the zombie makeup is is really good. And like I said, that goes back to uh, Rick Baker. But like it's uh, it's actually quite scary. It, it's very unlike anything that you saw in our versions of the Haunted Mansions. However, it's not unlike yeah. what you could see in Disneyland Paris's Phantom Manor. Whoa, that flip was very odd looking. I hope you stay dead for evers he and evers. <laughs> I think he really needs to see a therapist because the first thing he tried to do to, to was to sell a zombie real estate. <laughs> well, this is uh, this is all a daydream from uh, hitting that shogi. <laughs> I love has, that they had to he hire has zero like, help. These yeah. Yeah, these all look really great. Look at that. They're not even coming out of the tombstones anymore. They're just shoving oh, bodies yeah. through. Whoa. Legitimately pretty scary if you're a young kid yeah. watching on a mansion movie. Because up until this point, you got a little blue ghost. You got Then you got the Jaws jump scare. Yeah. Just like, yeah. There, there's a lot going on in here. This is where the production teams on this and Pirates actually started talking to each other. <laughs> I thought you were about to say this is where the production team said, fuck them kids, and just went <laughs> for it. Yeah, because there, there's nothing like this in the ride at all. No. I do love the the old man that you can kind of like see in the background. He's got like his cane as he's hobbling through as a zombie skeleton. <laughs> Is this supposed to be like that big mausoleum at the end of the ride that they're supposed to be going into? Mm. Oh, I can't watch this. You still have a newspaper? Oh. There's the payoff. Michael, do you still have my uh <laughs> do you still have my sports illustrated swimsuit <laughs> edition? <laughs> What zombies? Hey, Michael, just Megan, what? you clearly saw the zombies. What do you mean, what zombies? Huh? I see. Honestly, I think if I was in that position, they would all <laughs> just die. Let them die. Yep. I don't know if I could fix that situation. <laughs> I mean, you could. Whether or not you want to is up to you. <laughs> uh, yeah. Brad, I like, don't think I like could. A super long stick and trying to like. Yep. They already got eaten by that time. I did it. I did it, guys. 14 minutes later. My brave little toaster. I like how they're all like tarantulas, too. Like there's just random packs of tarantulas in Louisiana. Where do you think they come from? This is where they go to the Indian elephant uh, bathing pool uh, over on the Jungle Cruise movie. Oh, 
<laughs> what are you doing? Look super light. Mm hmm. She floats. What's in there? What is it? Huh. I guess this is, I guess this was probably <laughs> before they started doing the floating Madame Leota head, right? In the ride. Yeah, I think that was a, I think that was the 2005 or 2006 overlay. Yeah. She used to just be static like the uh I think the Disneyland one is still like that, isn't it? Or does the Disneyland one float too? I can't I think remember. They both float, but keep in mind I'm not a Disneyland local. I'm not too sure. Yeah. Wherever yours, Elizabeth, please bring cookies. <laughs> I love that he's impressed when really like this movie should have like three tasks for him to go through. And he only did like the one thing. <laughs> What's he going to deal with? I mean, they're already dead. So. Yeah. Like what's he going to do? Do your worst. <laughs> I will put you in front of a fan and you will float away. <laughs> Oh, my man in the hat. He's ready. And that's how George Washington made our country. <laughs> he's got a very he's got like a weird accent. Like it's is it supposed to be a British accent? Like he drags like some stuff out sometimes. No one does a voice like him. That's what matters. Oh, is this like the, the stereotypical voice that he does in every movie? Or is that just how he sounds? This is what happens when uh, when uh, just, you know what, Travis? That that doesn't even, that, that doesn't get a remark. <laughs> no, I'm just saying, does he like... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Gary's got it right. Gary in the comments says it's a spooky English guy voice. And yeah, that, that about covers it. I was going to say he watched too much Shit's Creek. <laughs> and it's the Moira Rose accent. I can't do it, but you know. <clears throat> Could you imagine if their legs didn't clear the trunk? See, we've been watching this movie this whole time, and I have no clue what's happening, really. <laughs> like, <laughs> I cannot follow this story. So, fun now fact, this is what Disney awful. security does when it's two hours after closing and Travis still hasn't left the park. <laughs> I wish I could get to my car that fast. <laughs> <laughs> Leaving Magic Kingdom? Mm -hmm. Just like, can security please throw me to, to yeah. the TTC? They throw me and I'm still on Main Street. Poor Gary showing up so late. We we delayed as long as we could, but uh man, couldn't couldn't have gone that long. Uh, we <laughs> still enough. got twenty five minutes of pure goodness left. Yeah, yeah. Sure. It's only gonna get even better. Character drops an H bomb, you guys aren't ready. Whoa. He says, heck. <laughs> 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 
uh gary says yeet to the ticket and transportation center and uh yes i would love to be yeeted leaving magic kingdom at the end of the night agreed brad don't know about that local life struggle oh but he no, still feels I've, it i've driven there a few times and it's uh yeah it's a nightmare. <laughs> i've driven there Oh yeah, I guess you've, I guess you've probably stayed on Universal property and had to, yeah, drive out there. Do you usually rent a car when you come out here, or you just Uber everywhere? Uber. Yeah. You don't want to drive in Orlando everywhere. anyways. You're taking your life in your own hands. <laughs> come on, it can't be any worse than New Jersey. Oh, it probably is. Well, the end again. Then again, you guys don't pump your own gas, so yeah. <laughs> it's still weird to me that you guys don't have to pump your own gas in New Jersey. It's that That's, dangerous uh, here; we're not allowed to get out. I uh, I gotta say, I love this emotional climax of him chasing who he thinks to be Elizabeth, and you guys are talking about Brad pumping his own gas. <laughs> <laughs> We're so invested Sorry. in this story, obviously. It's it's really deep, I know. Very emotional. I still don't know who is the villain here. Like The villain? Yeah. <laughs> it's obviously Jim. <laughs> Dude, the neighbors are so pissed right now. Oh. His car alarm oh, going off. Oh, shit. Up. He's just going to rip an old fucking turret off a, or a banister <laughs> off an old mansion. Oh. Did nothing. He's, he's probably gonna sell that on eBay too. I like the uh, reverse crash, like cracking sound of the window. That was kind of cool. Yeah. <laughs> it's like when you're trying to you're trying to uh, break the wrong window, you stupid son of a bitch. They're trying to break whatever windows they can get. There's something horribly wrong. The obnoxious bmw honks for my car going <laughs> off i can't find you my keys see i feel i really feel for these characters because they also don't know what's going on <laughs> <laughs> oh you mean when they like we're actually recording the movie they're just <laughs> it's all improv <laughs> all of the above <laughs> You notice she is also in white because uh, it's supposed to represent bridal uh, clothing. This entire movie is just like truck for two hours. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody's so voyeuristic in this movie. It just everybody has a Everyone's window into everybody. Each other. Yeah, yeah. This week on Big Brother. <laughs> Welcome, foolish mortals. There is no privacy at all around this place. <laughs> the housemates are in for the foolish time of their lives this week as we they celebrate head of household. Turn the <laughs> shit out of you. <laughs> the whole time. Have her ready. Ooh, good job. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Have her ready is also what I say when the Domino's tracker says my pizza is on the final step. <laughs> I do like that big ass organ on the stairs, though. Look at that. Look at all them buttons. It, it Rex and his T Rex arms can't really play the organ all that well. That's why it sounds this bad. <laughs> it cut to and, him uh, just like headbutting the keys. This was an outtake from the Black Parade video. They just uh, didn't have any footage for this. The reshoots couldn't happen so they just inserted black parade footage do you think his uh suit is kind of like an abacus and like it just makes clinking together noises <laughs> <laughs> he gave up that's it he's done <laughs> i'll start a new life i'll go to florida <laughs> I'll, I'll start a new life with teddy. even though he makes a mess teddy's a good guy <laughs>
I love that Leota just rolled through the entire house like a super <laughs> monkey ball level to yeah. get to the bottom of this. <laughs> well, you see, Jim, I feel like uh, I feel like they would have just kept calling you like even after the lake, they would have just had you come up another time. This is my favorite part of Star Wars The Last Jedi Episode 8. <laughs> Jim Force projects himself inside of the mansion. <laughs> He's not actually there. Is that the new baby Yoda? <laughs> yes. Uh, Jennifer Tilly. Spoilers Madam, uh, for Madam season Madam two Madam. here, guys. Oh, this shit. Is the He's Razor Crest man. goes straight into right, the uh, Tatooine, uh, whatever the dive bar is. Tatooine's what? dive bar. <laughs> <laughs> the only solitary dive bar on Tatooine. You guys know the one. Cantina, that's the word I was looking for. Because then I came up with dive bar. <laughs> Madame Leota, <laughs> Madame Leota <laughs> rolls into the bar and they're like, we don't serve your kind here. <laughs> Roll yourself out. You ain't having a ball at my establishment. <laughs> I feel like this guy could have been in a Star Wars movie. Whom? Uh, Eddie Murphy? <laughs> no, not Eddie Murphy. The freaking look at that! Oh, right. look at the night. Which is a callback to the uh, 1980s, where Disney thought it was a good idea to put a human person in a night uh, suit, and uh, probably got their shit wrecked every single time they were on stage. Yeah. What you talking about in the actual ride? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Disneyland. They put poor some poor sucker in a night costume. Who got uh, basically that, attacked all summer long? I heard that they used to get like spit on and shit. Oh, like, I believe it. Gross. Woo! Look at I that must kick. Ask you a question. Ooh. Nice. That's the shave you can get with a new Gillette Fusion Razor. <laughs> and that brings us to our sponsor, uh, Five Dollar Shave Club. <laughs> Not only better than Gillette Fusion, but the closest touch a man can get. What I mean, all she had to do was throw that, right? Like, is she being controlled or what? Uh, she it was basically told uh, the kids ain't getting free unless she married him. The director said, oh, you what, have what was, to drink this. Yeah, what, what's she going to do? What, what is she going to throw it at Ghost Man? What, what's going to happen there, Brad? I don't, I don't know. Oh, we got a comment. When I worked at Mansion, they told us that the guy in the suit absolutely got spit on and things thrown at him. Thank you, Kay. Also, Forever Malone just wanted to say hi. What's up? What's up, Joshua? And uh, I don't know what Gary's comment was about. <laughs> it's about oh, uh, hey, it's I about the it. band. I got it. I got it. The Cantina yeah. band. Uh, Figure and Dan and the modal nodes. There you go. Yeah, there you go, Brad. Her name is there, Elizabeth. She's uh, she's from she's New from, Jersey, and she New loves Jersey. Six Flags. She doesn't pump her own gas. That's why we were talking about it. <laughs> what is Eddie Murphy's eye line in this? Oh, he's What's looking at this. New Jerseyans don't pump their own gas. <laughs> 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 it's in the Constitution. <laughs> George you Washington tried to marry me there. to someone from New Jersey? <laughs> Despicable. <laughs> Your union was acceptable. I told you, didn't I? He's literally a, a Star like a Wars reference. He, he is in Star Wars, by the way. He's Chancellor Valorum. That's, yeah. I forgot about that. He is. In the prequels. What movie? What movie is uh, that? The Phantom Menace. Oh, never seen it. Uh, what? 
Tom, you. Stick around after this, guys. We're watching The Phantom Menace. Look at that. Spooky, scary skeletons. He just looks like the main guy that would be next to, like, you know, somebody from the Republic or something. Look at that. Giant flaming fireballs. I love that ghosts are scared of other ghosts because there's bad ghosts. And here's the thing that killed Gandalf. Mm, yeah. <laughs> you shall not pass! Eddie Murphy's going to look at the camera and say, fly, you <laughs> fools, and then sacrifice himself for the finale <laughs> of this film. It's my favorite part of the ride, by the way. When Eddie Murphy gets dragged to hell? When your car goes backwards into a fire pit, and that's when everybody <laughs> says you die. <gasps> so I feel going down the drop on Mummy. <laughs> When they're taking my picture. Chancellor Valorum. Rest in peace. Has fallen to his death. Emperor Palpatine must take his place. See, I kind of wish uh, Master Gracie picked him up and went, no, as he tossed him into the fire pit. <laughs> that would have uh, added a little bit more decor into this ending. It really would have. And then they add, and then they add the Dumbledore scene. Of yeah. Him, uh, dying too. That fire then, thing was uh, actually next, a phoenix. Next the ghost, uh, Avada Kedavra's Master Gracie. And, and then, then the awkward just, hug between Draco Malfoy and Voldemort. And then Nicholas Gage is in the Ooh. background, like stealing the Declaration of Independence. There's a Real lot quick, going on here. Dobby's in that scene. You just missed it. Ugh. Damn. That they're talking about Dobby. Get away from us. Leave us alone. Here's a sock. Take That's a sock. Like when Harry held Dobby after Bellatrix hit him with that knife when they went through the port key <laughs> on the beach. Remember that? Yeah. How it feels to chew five gum. <laughs> That's got some fresh ass breath. <laughs> She's like that Dr. Brahmer's peppermint soap or whatever the fuck is on the internet all the time now. Ooh, spicy. This I is just like the end of the movie. I, I like the entire cast is like, does anybody know what that blue thing was that was just floating through here? <laughs> that just flew into the body of our favorite New Jerseyan. <laughs> <laughs> and that's when the day that no New Jerseyan ever had to pump their own gas again. <laughs> <laughs> this is the backstory. It's going to end like Edward Scissorhands. It's an old woman telling the story. <laughs> That, my fine sir, was the ghost of guest pumping past. <laughs> it's that big fucking Muppet from uh, Muppet's Christmas Carol. This is that Look scene that. from Casper. When yes, I, love. I never this, have to his, pump my his own wife comes again, back. you fucking peasants. <laughs> the ghost ball was Elizabeth. Oh, no, that's where he says it was nothing. The ghost ball was nothing, actually. It was nothing. <laughs> oh, it's fine. It's not really her. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's, shit. That's my wife. Yes. My wife. <laughs> <laughs> you just say that? Not my really wife. kissing your mom. <laughs> My, my wife. <laughs> I mean, yeah, exactly. My wife. <laughs> so, <laughs> somebody please add Borat. <laughs> my wife. In the Haunted Mansion for the last two scenes. And it's not an outdated reference anymore. It actually works. No, it's not. Right. <laughs> Your selfishness killed her yet again. Jim? <laughs> And Olaf walks out. He's like, I thought some people were worth melting for. <laughs> I like warm hugs. <laughs> no. <laughs> Bro, that went on like 10 seconds too long. You can finally sell my own house. 
<laughs> he does say it. It's surprising. Yeah. Sell it. <laughs> Burn it to the ground. Whatever makes you happy. Wait, is that her or is this someone that looks her. exactly like her? No, it's her. What? What? Looks like the Joker there. <laughs> I'm the Joker, baby. We have 998 haunts here. What you talking about? Bitch, you cut out the wheel. <laughs> See, he looks like Hatbox Ghost. Yeah, that's what I was saying. That's the guy. 996 yeah. haunts here. <laughs> the bitch is retired out in the haunted mansion. <laughs> Isn't it a relief to know that inside of us there's a blue ghost ball for all of us? Yeah. <laughs> what is this? This is way too uplifting music for <laughs> the uh, creators of, the of Tangled yeah, really like this scene. Or something. This is the uh, Osborne Lights exclusively at Hollywood Studios. <laughs> Somehow it sounds like the uh, theme from The Shire. Um... <laughs> That's just Jennifer Tilly's horrible <laughs> British accent. Also, the other thing is, this is in Louisiana, so why is there like this lineage of a British family in the middle of Louisiana? What are they they're going to the question. keys right now? I think I love that they're like, well, the house is ours, but we're taking these guys with us. Yeah. It was before it was before, you know, like iPods had a ton amount of storage. Uh it's better <laughs> to have your own van. There it is. That's it. Credits have been rolled. Woo. Look wow. at that. I still don't care for this movie all that much. <laughs> That was probably not the best way for you to watch this movie. Um, <laughs> however, I uh, yeah, I it's fine, and uh, like I'm not here to defend it or anything like that. I think it's wait, it's serviceable wait, for what wait. it is. I watch it every Halloween. No, I gotta stop. Is it the Judge Judy theme song? <laughs> what is Judge happening? Judy. What is happening right now? Bum, 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 bum. I, I don't know. <laughs> On this side of the courtroom, we have Eddie Murphy, who chose this movie. <laughs> really bad judgment on his part. On the other side, we have the creator of like Pirates of the Caribbean. Sounds like an song or something. That's definitely Nelly, right? I, I don't know. Maybe. You don't remember the rapper Nelly? <laughs> no, I, I'm thinking he's, saying he's not sure if this was part of it. Uh, so let's see. As someone from NOLA, uh, this is from Annabelle. As someone from NOLA, they seem to be going to an actual lake on the other side of the city. I travel on that bridge quite often. Well, oh, that's pretty okay. cool. Look at that. Right. A little bit of insight there. So, the Haunted Mansion movie. Uh, not a lot that could be said if this was your first time <laughs> watching it. Um, Sorry. Thank you uh, for, for watching. Um, if this was uh, your uh, second, third, fifteenth time watching, then uh, welcome back. You you deserve all of it. And, and uh, uh, yeah. yeah, this really they should add our commentary to Disney Plus. Uh, honestly, I don't know what <laughs> what they're waiting for. I guess for us to finish. That's probably why. So, Brad, is it going to make your Halloween rotation? You going to watch it whenever it's on? <sighs> No, I mean, there's. You need to put this on for Link and see what the hell he thinks. About I mean, it. yeah, I I wouldn't mind doing that, I like, guess. What but the fuck are we watching, Dad? <laughs> <laughs> this shit is weird. I would much rather watch Beetlejuice, Ghostbusters, fifteen times, you know, instead of this. So, has he seen Killer Clowns? Partially, yeah. <laughs> Partially, <laughs> we watched it for a few minutes, and I'm like, okay, it's a little. Maybe I should not watch it with him. <laughs> So, <laughs> wow, what a mess! What a beautiful, glorious mess the haunted mansion. Movie but like, is. let me ask you, what 
what do you want? And I know I brought it up earlier, but like, what do you want from a Haunted Mansion movie? I really don't know what they could do as far as a story goes. Yeah, that's that's the real hard part. Like, what do you tell with the Haunted Mansion? I think, like, honestly, the Haunted Mansion probably works better as like an anthology series for Disney Plus. Like, we talk about all these different ghosts and like their backstories and everything like that. I think there is a direction that you could possibly go with making it kind of a series, um, telling how those ghosts came to be. I actually think that would be a pretty cool like perspective to approach with the Haunted Mansion. And there's so many, like it's never ending. You make a family, I, a family anthology, and uh, I think that's, that's going to pull people in, a family horror anthology. So when are we watching Tower of Terror? With uh, Steve Gutenberg. I've never Mark seen the Tower of Terror movie. Oh, no, you've never seen it? Oh, man. Yeah. It's yeah. probably just as bad as this one. So Art Salter says, uh, I'll it. definitely need some famous Amos cookies next time I watch this. <laughs> and I agree. Um, the feeling of you rising uh, through the skyline up into heavenly light can only be replicated with famous Amos cookies. So I, I don't know if you guys got them, but um, when was this? This was, is there any kind of publication date on this? I don't know. 2016, uh, Marvel came out with the Haunted Mansion comic books. Yeah. Um, yeah. And I have them here. Uh, they, it was a pretty good story. I, I thought it was way better than at least what this is. Um, just like <laughs> kind of like the story of a kid and, and his like grandfather or something like that. And so whatever it was, it was it was a lot better. Um and it yeah. really it took a lot of the vibes from the attraction, and the the I remember the in, like the entire start of the the comic was like really at the same pace as the attraction, which is where where this movie kind of like doesn't like what this movie doesn't do you know so mm-hmm. um, I don't know I would I want it to follow the the path of the attraction and kind of like tell a story that way I don't know it's not really that all that interesting because like we're saying there is not a a, a very good through line in the ride. And honestly, the part where they try to do a story, I'm like, I, I, I'm checked out. I don't, I hate the attic scene. I'm not a big fan of Constance and all that. So um, that's like the worst part of the attraction for me. Yeah. Yeah. I can understand that. I, there is stuff that I think there is, there is stuff that I think is redeemable in this movie. Like for instance, we were all like, kind of praising like how scary the the zombies were in this like i think it's a great like makeup and like that's a pretty fun scene um beyond that i i still like it i think it's fun enough but i'm also approaching it just like a movie like dinosaur from kind of the same time period i think uh nostalgia bias does play into it a little bit but does the the thing to me about this movie is with the timeline the zombies kind of looked kind of like the the pirates yeah zombies so maybe the, uh, obviously they probably had like the same so they just had that same kind of look to them and they kind of moved the same so maybe they were using the same probably using the same kind of technology type stuff or cgi for <clears throat> the, the zombies obviously you know they're going to look a little bit different but overall a lot of it's uh a lot of it's like physical uh, makeup and like masks yeah. and that sort of thing. So and then we just yeah. missed it though in the uh, in the uh, post credit scene. They just had Jennifer Tilly in the ball doing the hurry back. So yeah. that was that was nice. I like that. There's little fun things in there. So I feel like the movie yeah. just jumped around too much. Like it had too many. I don't know. They didn't stick to one certain story. Maybe they had like a a grand idea for it but i don't know i guess it just i agree oh, travis i would also i would also like this series to be avengers endgame length i like i think it deserved it i think these characters deserve to be fleshed out more 10 and, years uh, like 20 short, i'm just saying yeah. they jumped around too much from scene to scene like they could have just i don't know it was like I'm way too many that. opening one doors and then going out of another door like they should have done that 17 really like transition times. weird transitional <laughs> scenes that didn't need to be in it I don't know. It was weird. I, but. Yeah, I think, uh, and I said it multiple times, but like my 
problem was like the story overall. I, I couldn't follow it. I know we were talking over it and I've seen it a yeah, few times. But like, around with it's just like, it's very hard to follow as far as the story is concerned. And uh, I, yeah, I don't know. I, I really don't know how you make it better. It's, it's, it's hard. And I, I, I don't know what took, uh, I don't know like what the backstory is with Guillermo del Toro and that project, but like that was one that was kicking around for so long. And maybe it's just a hard story to crack, you know, maybe that's the reason. Yeah, and that's why you're the man to crack it. So that's it, guys. Stay, wanna... yeah, subscribe to this channel because there we, me, Hunter, and Travis will be making our own version of this movie. <laughs> that's exactly will, right. But it will yep. be on the actual attraction itself. <laughs> if it you, be, we will be kicked out multiple times. Well, that actually, <laughs> I was kind of hoping something like this would come up because I think it could be a fun little contest for those of you who are listening. If you have a great idea for the Haunted Mansion movie, I'm going to hear it. So, if you got a great idea for the Haunted Mansion movie, email it to me. I'm going to read it out, and we're going to invite you on to uh, to talk all about your Haunted Mansion movie. I, I, I want to hear this. I want to hear what your idea is. We're all going to come up with our own pitches, and then we'll compare. Send it over to me at, uh, at the podcast email, hunter at neozaz.com, and uh, we'll check that out. It's good stuff. Yeah. Yeah. I want your stories darn it gary you're blocked um from from participating <laughs> sorry gary well guys <laughs> anything <laughs> anything Block else we report, need to say gary to, pounds oh, wait, anything else right. we need to say to kind of wrap up the live stream tonight well i don't know i feel like it was a success so we definitely got to move on to something at some point um i agree people seem to like it and once i, I don't know is this going out on the the feed at all yeah we're gonna post uh i'm gonna keep the intro and the outro separate um just for those yeah. of you who tuned in live but yeah the, the commentary will go nice, up on the yeah. feed so feel free to share it if you enjoyed yeah, it hopefully we can do more stuff like this because this was a lot of fun and uh yeah i guess just keep an eye out but um i love this this is this is good so that's it that's all i got yeah thank you well. everybody for tuning in uh, yeah, thank you everyone for making time with your busy Halloween schedule to come watch the Haunted Mansion movie with us. Whether you love it, you don't really like it, or you like it just enough, um, it means the world that you spend your your holiday season, holiday season, I guess kind of, right? Spend your Halloween season with us, and uh, we genuinely appreciate it. Um, Halloween is a holiday, how dare you? <laughs> I agree. But uh, we know that those of you who tuned in till the very end, at the very least, have been with grim grinning hosts for quite a while and enjoy the show and the output so thank you all so much and uh we've got a couple more episodes to round out halloween and then we've already got our we already miss halloween special ready to go so we'll be doing some more fun holiday stuff coming up and uh we're excited to uh talk and communicate and just have a good time celebrating theme parks and pop culture with you all yeah yeah well Thank you so much for tuning in. That brings us to the end of another Grim Grinning Host podcast. Signing off for Travis, Brad, and myself. Stay spooky, my friends. <laughs>